He was the hardest working man I've ever met in my life. He sacrificed everything for his family. Any picture we have of him is with a Dino shirt on. This was his life, this was his legacy. We are at Dino's Chicken and Burgers LA, where we serve our Dino's famous chicken. This is the original. My dad opened this restaurant in 1969 by himself, and we've been here ever since. When he opened this restaurant, he started fiddling around with uh, some of the Latin flavors and the Greek flavors and developed this marinade. People have guessed, people have tried to recreate it, and it's just not the same. And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that he put his heart and soul into that recipe. We are known for our charbroiled chicken on a bed of french fries with coleslaw and tortillas. It is healthy because it is charbroiled. We are very lucky. We have a very loyal following. We have employees that have been working with us since 1969, 1970, that are still with us today. So it's kind of nice to have this familial um, experience with our customers, with our employees. Although he wanted something better for us, he never really wanted us in the restaurant business and that's why he put us all through college. We all decided to come back when my dad was opening up our restaurant and he um, got attacked by two people. They were trying to rob him. We all got the phone calls. We were all in different parts of the world. They stabbed him 10 times. Unknown fact of my dad, he was a black belt in karate. And then he fought them off by using his black belt skills. And then he got himself in his car and drove himself to the paramedics down the street to get first aid. And then he wanted to come back to work the next day. Once he got stabbed, we were like, okay, this is our livelihood. So we took the initiative. I came back and I said, okay, where do we begin? I think he'd be proud to know that we, as women, um, which he never thought we would do, uh, actually came back and are helping to grow his legacy and bring it um, to the next level. So we're definitely rebranding. We're definitely going to try to re renovate. We're going to update our menu. We will um, increase um, some items that we have on our menu. And we are going to hopefully bring stuff to our customers that they will love. That passed away two, three years ago. And to this day, we still have customers coming up to us and saying, your dad was the best. He helped me. He saw me, didn't have money, and he fed me.